So we're going to do now a tuna, and it says ahi tuna, and that's just, a, I used to work in Hawaii, so that's a fancy way of saying tuna, so don't get complicated or don't get intimidated by that, that word. What we're going to do first is the marinade. So soya sauce, so it's a little bit of Asian influence, a little bit of uh, the maggi uh, chili sauce. So I like a little, little spicy, but not too crazy. Sweet chili sauce? Sweet, yeah. We've got the herbs, the shervo. It's all the herbs, like in the recipe. A little bit of grain mustard. That's the French uh, moutard de mot, grain mustard. <clears throat> you mix that inside. Of course, you don't want to have seeds in there, so. So once that's done, then I put into the marinade. So a very hot pan. You can put salt on there, but I'm also very cautious about how much salt that we use. Okay, so once the tuna is seared, you put it into the marinade. Like I said earlier, the longer it sits in there, the better. And then we take a little piece of tin foil with saran wrap. We put down. Like then we take sesame seeds, which are roasted a little bit. And then the soy sauce will help the beautiful sesame seeds on here. Okay, they will stick. Hopefully not your hands. Pop it here. And you roll it up nicely. At the same time, we're gonna make the fennel jam which is a little bit of fennel. Uh, okay, there we go. So I take a few beans, favorite beans. So, so it's always more difficult to make one portion. The white beans, the black beans, and a little bit of the endive. As the fennel cooks, just a little bit of olive oil. Okay. This is a nice dish to go on a glass plate. I like glass plates because they're visually much more appealing. So we take the lemon oil. Again, this goes in with the beans. So that will go on the bottom. We have the cilantro oil as a garnish. The color in that bean mix is yeah, it's beautiful. Very, it's very, very nice. Customs didn't appreciate that. No. <laughs> so the oil goes around. Then you cut the tuna. Then I take a little bit of the fennel jam on top, which gives it a little bit of flavor. And if you want a little more salt, we have a little fleur de sel, Brittany salt, and just put a little on the tuna. But that's that's really what you have there. Okay, thank you. Beautiful.